Hi, I'm Chris, uh, Executive Chef for Seven Day Catering, and today I'm going to show you how to put together the uh, salads from the new range, the indulgent range, and, uh, and also some of the simple classics as well, just to show you how they look in the box. You'll have spec packs, or should have done, and one of the important things, the key thing to remember, is that weights and measures are absolutely vital uh, to the success of this project, um, because we've got GDA information printed on all of the labels, so it's absolutely essential that all the weights and measures are correct going into the salad. So do take your time to weigh the ingredients carefully, and after a short while you'll soon get the hang of it. So we're going to start today uh, with the first salad, which is the Moroccan chicken. Okay, so I've got the 40 grams of leaf that are weighed out there. Pop those into the bowl. Might not seem a lot, but it's absolutely ample for this salad. I've got all the ingredients that are already weighed out uh, on this tray here. So I'm just going to show you how this one is assembled. This is the citrus spice couscous. Uh, all the product codes for these items are on the spec sheets along with all the costs. Couscous salad in. Like that. And we'll pop the chicken on. Like that. We have some of the roasted pepper. Going down the other side of the couscous. Cucumber there like that. Red onion in the corner. Some hummus. And then to finish the salad, in case someone wants to make a sandwich out of it, a little bit of a wrap there in the corner of the box. Box is sealed. Like that. And there's the Moroccan spiced chicken and couscous salad. Okay. Next salad here that we're going to do is the superfoods salad, which is extremely, extremely healthy, packed full of good things. Um, the base for this one is going to be uh, maybe spinach leaf. So 40 grams of that, just weigh it out. Into the bottom of the salad as a base there. Again, I have all the ingredients weighed out. It doesn't really matter in what order you do this. Um, I'll put the squash on first. Scatter that around. It's a very colourful salad. So I've got some 30 grams of cherry tomatoes. Maybe that. Little beetroot trip last. Uh, the feta I've cut reasonably small. I think it works better that way. Got some cubes of feta around the salad. So the key to all these are just preparation. Uh, and then it's just uh, it's just an assembly, which is fairly straightforward. Much broccoli. Beetroot. Scatter some pomegranates. Some blueberries. And last but not least, a little bit of seasoned low-fat yoghurt as a dressing. Okay, we'll seal the box. And that's your superfood salad. Okay, the next salad is the uh, pesto pasta uh, tomato mozzarella salad. So again, start with exactly the same leaf. 40 grams of box. Then in a similar way to um, the couscous salad, we'll put the nut-free pesto pasta in a diagonal line like this. down the side there. A 
red pepper down this side. Dot around some of your cherry tomatoes. Like this. And then your quarter ball of mozzarella. Torn or diced. Dot it around the salad like that. And then a few sprigs of your basil crisp on top just to finish. And that's your tomato, mozzarella and pesto pasta salad. Next one up, um, slight difference with this one. This is the, uh, the salad, the salmon salad niçoise. And the difference with this is that we make up a base recipe. It's all in the spec book before we start. The base recipe being uh, a potato, green beans, olives uh, and some red onion. And then we divide the base recipe up uh, between the portions of salad that we're making and add in the other bits of garnish as well. Uh, and the reason we do this is so that we ensure an even distribution of that garnish throughout the salad and we can be more short in portions. Um, key to this one as well, uh, and there is a note in the spec pack, is to not to overboil the eggs. Um, into boiling water for eight minutes, then into, into iced water to refresh. Uh, and that should give you a nice yellow yolk. So, putting this one together from that stage, really very simple again. In goes the lettuce, the salmon. Again, we haven't overcooked it. It's 40 grams of salmon. And we flaked it into fairly fat flakes. So there's a little bit of consistency to the salad. Again, if you just pass that translucent stage, that's fine. Pop in the garnish. The olives. And then the eggs in a prominent position so we show off that nice yellow yolk. A little wedge of lemon in the corner there of the box. I'll just finish that off with a few sprigs of flat leaf parsley. I wouldn't use curly parsley. Three or four nice sprigs of flat leaf. Finish that salad there. And the last of the salads. Um, well, at least the last of the indulgent salads is the um, is the Japanese noodle salad, and again, this one requires a base recipe uh, of rice noodles, um, spring onions, carrots, and muli. Uh, it's got a little bit of coriander and just some lime juice squeezed in as a dressing. Okay, so that's the base recipe. Works in a similar way to the salmon niçoise. So to put this together, again, very very straightforward. Uh, it's a base of baby leaf spinach, again 40 grams. In the bottom of the box. Then your base recipe goes on top of that. Spread that around the box. 30 grams of prawns. Put down the middle here. Nice and central. For a bit of heat to the salad, popped in some very, very finely sliced red chilli. Cucumber to the side, wedge of lime in the side of the box, a little pinch or two of coriander, either sprigs or chopped, to finish that salad. That's the Japanese noodle and prawn salad. Okay, the last salad that I'm going to show you today is uh, from the classics range. Now this is tuna, um, ham, egg, cheese, uh, all the favourites that we had before and they're all laid up in exactly the same way. So I'll just do the tuna one and then you can follow this example for any of the other classics that you want to make and then I'll show you about the label. So again, something that we've, that we've seen a lot before, in goes the leaf mix. Uh, now these are very, very basic um, salad items that used to go in the classic salads. We're just going to arrange them a little bit differently. So we'll have the tuna, you weighed tuna into the middle there. Tomato, and just break the colours up. Cucumber, some carrot, that side there. 
Yeah. And then some red onion. Sprinkled around the vegetables. And these are how our classic salads are looking. And the last part of the session really is, is to do with the labelling. So I just want to show you this label. This is for the classic tuna salad. The one I've got here is for the Moroccan uh, chicken and couscous, which you can see is a different colour. The simple ones are plainer. But they've all got, most importantly, the GDA information listed down there. Now as to where this goes on the box, I'll show you that right now. But this is the tuna salad we've got here. Peel the label off the back. The GDA information we want on this face here of the box. This will take a bit of practice, but as central as we can. Onto the face. Flat folds down. Sealing the box. We'll have the date stamp there also. Just in the bottom left hand corner. And there's the salad ready for the shelf.